Hello, everybody. This is Al with Bobcad. Um, kind of wanted to pick up this hot thread that's going on right now uh, for the rotary toolpath, uh, how to use it for roughing or how not to use it for roughing, and then uh, also some of the other methods that you would take if you're not going to use the rotary toolpath for roughing. Um, the preferred method for roughing out your parts on your indexer is three axis roughing. Uh, three axis is faster and uh, you know it's just going to give you a, a better result. Uh, also there's limitations with roughing with the rotary tool path. It's really more for semi finishing. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Now this is my first video of the version 26 so I'm kind of excited about that. I uh, want to bring in my model here and uh, take a look at um, some of the steps that I would use uh, in order to rough this out. Now, uh, the first thing I want to do is orientate the part for the first setup. So we're going to do an X minus 90 and uh, window this part in here. And now we have it uh, orientated to the first setup. The next thing I'm going to do is load in my new job. Uh, this is going to be milling and I'm going to use a uh, Herco fourth axis or Herco with an indexer on it. I'll go ahead and run my stock wizard. I'm going to use cylindrical stock here. This is going to be along the x-axis. I'm going to add some stock to the outside of the part. And uh, so this is 6 and uh, 4.5. Okay. All right, now uh, the other thing I want to do is with my work offset here, when I simulate it on the machine, I don't want it to be inside of the indexer, so I'm going to push the part off uh, the indexer by six inches, and this looks okay, and I'll choose okay. All right, now, from here, I want to load in a three-axis strategy, so I'm going to go ahead and select, uh, actually, hold on a second, I want to stop that. Uh, because I'm doing uh, indexing, I want to set up an index system first. So the first thing I'm going to do is create uh, some geometry. Uh, this is going to be 4.5, um, 6, eh, we'll see. That, that's fine. 4.5 by 6, this is going to be uh, 4.5 divided by 2. All right, and this is going to be 3.1. That's fine. All right, so I'm going to draw a box up there. This one's going to be minus 3.1. I'm going to draw a box down there. Uh, from here, I'm going to add a new uh, UCS. I'm going to use three points, and I'll grab these three points to define this one, and then I'm going to rename that um, first index. And then I'm going to uh, rotate the part over. I'm going to add another one. Uh, one, two, three. And I'm going to rename this. This is second index. All right. So now that that is done, let's get the part back over here. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is load in our index and we will select from our UCS. So we have our first index selected. Uh, from here, we'll load our three axis tool path. Go ahead and select the entire model. And uh, if you, say that's zero. If you are new to the version 26 like I am, uh, this is where the dynamic machining strategies um, are located uh, and extremely powerful feature, way too much to cover, but in a nutshell, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to create a feature that is made up of strategies of my choosing. In this case, I want to do a Z-level rough and then I want to do a Z-level finish. Okay, so I'm loading in the strategies that I want. So I'm gonna Z-level rough and Z-level finish. All right, now from here, I'll set my tool up. I'll use an end mill to begin with. And 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.02, 0 0.03, 0 0.04, 
0.001. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply these settings to all strategies here. And uh, my bottom of job, this should be minus three. I'm going to apply that as well. Okay. So then I'll go to my Z level finish. That's going to be a ball mill. Uh, we'll make this, you'll notice the quarter, uh, quarter inch depth of cut carried over. We're going to just make that 0.1 and finish. Eh, we can compute this. Let's we'll see how it does. All right. So this is going to rough and uh, rough the stock out, and then it's going to do a Z level finish. Now I want to create a new index system. So we'll do add index, and we are going to reselect and we'll pick our second setup all right now from here uh, what's really cool about the 26 is I can just grab uh, this feature here copy paste reselect my geometry and compute and now I've roughed it on both sides I really like that option I uh, you know, I, I would have to figure out how I was going to hold this part. I mean, right now it's cutting around. It's basically cutting the part free. But uh, again, just a quick way to demonstrate how you would rough this part out using index systems versus the rotary axis. Uh, later in the thread, we're going to talk more about the rotary tool path. Uh, in this example, I just wanted to show uh, how you would use your index systems to uh, set up this part to rough it out. Uh, there's no question, well, I guess there could be a question for some people, but uh, three axis cutting is extremely uh, fast in comparison to uh, four axis cutting. And uh, by setting up your index systems and running this along, you're gonna find it's gonna do a really good job of uh, roughing the stock out here and uh, preparing the part for the uh, semi-finishing tool paths. So let's go ahead and just run this along pretty quickly. Rough this out, flip the part over, rough on the other side, and then our Z-level finish. And then our Z-level finish. It looks like I could have went a little further past uh, center line, but um, you get the idea. Uh, this is going to do a, a really good job of roughing the part out, and then in the next videos, uh, we're going to go through the steps of, well, I'll probably go into more detail on the indexing as well, but in the next videos, we'll go through the steps of utilizing the rotary tool path uh, to semi-finish and finish this part. So uh, I'm sure you guys are going to have more questions. Uh, quick look at the new version 26 and the start of this uh, new project here. Thank you so much for your time today, guys. And uh, any comments, questions, just uh, post back in the thread or on the Facebook or on the YouTube page. Very good, guys. Thanks.